Since its announcement, we knew Picard's second season would be giving us a wild time travel adventure filled to the brim with nods to Star Trek's rich history. But what if it's about to give us something else? An unexpected spin-off? Almost 60 years in the making, perhaps? That's right, I think the time is right, and the stars have aligned for Gary Seven's secret backdoor pilot to finally be realised. No idea what I'm talking about? Well, here's a quick history lesson to catch you up. Back in 1968, the future wasn't looking so bright for Gene Roddenberry's original Star Trek series. With weekly ratings in decline throughout the show's second season, Roddenberry and the show's stars were bracing themselves for cancellation. Hoping to get a new show off the ground to replace his wagon train to the stars, Roddenberry shopped around an idea he created two years prior, a show focusing on a man named Gary Seven, born in the year 2319, and the only survivor of Earth's attempts to send someone back through time. Gary's assignment was to protect the planet from the Amagans, an alien race themselves on a mission to weaken and destroy humanity by travelling back to the past. Sounds familiar, right? The show, originally conceived as a half-hour weekly serial, wasn't taken up, so Roddenberry instead reworked it into Star Trek's second season finale, Assignment Earth, with small hope the episode might serve as a backdoor pilot for the concept. Ultimately, Star Trek survived its second season run, thanks in large part to an incredible campaign which saw Studio NBC receive over a hundred thousand letters from fans demanding the show remain on air. The studio listened, and Star Trek would get a third and final year, producing enough episodes to ensure syndication and the wider Star Trek franchise to come. Watching Assignment Earth back, the spin-off attempt is obvious, with Gary Seven, his assistant Roberta Lincoln, and Black Cat Isis all getting far more screen time than the show's usual guest actors. Robert Lansing, playing Seven, would even get a post-title guest star credit, something we see all the time nowadays, but something unheard of for most shows back in the day. Assignment Earth would never get a series order, most likely due to Star Trek's explosion post-syndication, although characters from the episode did find their way into several non-canon books and comics, my personal favourite being Greg Cox's excellent two-part novel which covered Khan and the Eugenics Wars. Fast forward to now, and the surprising inclusion of elements of the original concept in Star Trek Picard's second season. And these elements aren't just mere easter eggs for fans and YouTube channels to fawn over, no. It appears the same organisation responsible for Gary Seven's original mission is an integral component in Jean-Luc Picard's attempts to restore the future of humanity. So why do I think we're going to get more than just an appearance here? Why do I think this could lead to much more? It's only a theory, of course, but there's one very good reason why CBS might be interested in finally realising the adventures of Gary Seven and the supervisors, Paramount Plus, and the never-ending pursuit of new streaming content as it attempts to compete with the likes of Netflix, Disney Plus, and Amazon. Thanks to streaming expansion, Star Trek itself has enjoyed a considerable franchise boom with Discovery, Picard, Lower Decks, Prodigy, and Strange New Worlds either currently airing, about to premiere, or currently in production. An Assignment Earth show would of course be forever linked to Star Trek, but for subscribers looking to consume new original content, Paramount may have an easy win right here. It's a real have-your-cake-and-eat-it scenario. Star Trek fans would probably tune in for the connection alone, while non-fans and casual viewers will likely find a show that doesn't require watching the entire Star Trek back catalogue a far more appealing proposition. So what would an Assignment Earth show actually look like? Well, I'm not entirely sure, but it would probably make the most sense for it to pick up in LA 2024, directly following Picard's adventure. In terms of on-screen talent to actually headline the show, Orla Brady, as good as she is, isn't really lead actor material, but there's still plenty of time for Picard to introduce additional players who could lead this new show. A recast Gary Seven, perhaps. Or just give the job to the cat. I know plenty of people who would watch a show about a shape-shifting, time-travelling, secret agent cat. Who wouldn't? But what do you think? Do you think we're finally going to get the Gary Seven slash Assignment Earth backdoor pilot slash spin-off. Let me know your thoughts and theories and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Star Trek reviews, analysis and theories. Until next time, I'm the Trekland, live long and prosper.